Hey guys, I'm here to give you some fun beauty hacks today. I hope you enjoy. All right, first one is dermaplaning. I absolutely love to do this. Maybe once a month, it's just shaving for your face. It picks up all the little peach fuzz so that when you apply your makeup, there's no um, hair catching the light and it also does exfoliate you. As you can see, there's so much coming off. It's extremely satisfying and it makes a very big difference in the application of your makeup. I love this tip. This is setting spray in your makeup sponge. Wet your sponge as normal, but then before you go to apply your foundation or concealer, spritz it with a little bit of your setting spray. That way, I really feel like you're pressing the foundation in with the setting spray rather than just sealing it on top. I do this every time I want longer lasting makeup and sweat proof makeup. Uh, it's just a theory, but I personally swear it works. This one should be pretty obvious but I always carve out my eyebrows with a bit of concealer just to keep it looking nice and neat. As you can see, it's such a quick result and makes a very big difference. Okay guys, this one is a little bit crazy, but if you are in an urgent position and you need shadow guards because you're doing a super crazy black smoky eye or something that's gonna cause a lot of fallout, then you can use sanitary liners. I was alerted on my last video that was really wasteful and bad for the environment to just use these, you know, without thinking twice. So I try to use it only when absolutely necessary and once I've used them, I just kind of stick them to the inside of the drawer so I can use them again later for makeup purposes, of course. But it does really help create that nice sharp line as you can see. Ooh, what's next? Oh, it's the damp powder sponge. So I don't like powdering my face. I don't like the thick cakey feeling. I find that that can be eliminated by using my damp sponge in the powder. So it just makes it melt a lot easier in with the skin and gives me the same kind of finish as a liquid foundation, but it's powder. A nice way to make your inner corner pop without using a really intense shimmery highlighter is to use a white eyeliner in there. I really love this effect. It's great for no makeup days, but also it can be used to intensify the look of your inner highlight. So you can use it as a base for the highlight or on its own. And of course, brightening the inner corner of the eye helps you look more awake and fresh. Highlighting the vermilion border of your lips, which is kind of the ridge of your lips where your lip skin meets your facial skin, can really help to make a more youthful look to your lips and face. It can give the illusion of a more defined border to your lips, which is useful for people with lip injections because often that border is diminished. Using an angle brush to apply your lipstick is one of the best hacks I could possibly give you, especially if you love to wear bright lips, guys. The corners and the angles allow you to get into the little nooks and crannies of your lips that you didn't even know that you had. As you can see, it creates extremely straight lines, way better than a lip brush. I don't even know why lip brushes are little paddle shaped. I can get the corner of my lips perfectly and the cupid's bow angles so well. I've never been big on curling my lashes, but someone told me about this tip and it's awesome. Next time you're blow drying your hair, why not blow dry your eyelashes up? The heat helps it stay longer and it's safe on eyelash extensions too. One of my least favorite lash looks is when you finish your eyelashes, you've gone top and bottom and you get that really tubey thick look all the way up. I'm not a big fan. I like my lashes to still look kind of natural and I think lashes that are too big can look a bit crazy. So I like to just take a spoolie just through the ends just to taper out the lashes so they have a natural finish and a natural taper. If you are unfortunate enough to get makeup on your nose or somewhere else after you've done your makeup, just give it a few minutes, maybe two or three minutes and then it should scratch off nice and easily with a spoolie. This works for every mascara I have except for Benefit Roller Lash. I don't know why. Typically, I have two options when it comes to my ponytail. I either have a really limp, sad looking ponytail like this, or I tease the shit out of it and get some damage in the process. Until I tried putting one of my trusty alligator clips underneath the ponytail and flipping my hair back over it. It works instantly and I don't have to spend a lot of time teasing and causing damage and using a lot of product. Sometimes I over blend my contour and it's not really doing its job anymore So I'll just take a banana powder and you can really carefully carve out those contour lines again Whether it be on your jaw on your nose wherever it is you're contouring um, And then blend it out with a brush It helps you get those angles back again and keep everything neat and tidy 
When I heard celebrities like Giselle Bundchen use the faux freckle trick, I started to use it a lot more often. It can really help make it look like you're wearing less makeup. It can create a more youthful effect since freckles are something that fade with age. Plus, because freckles are a bare skin trait, adding them over the top of your foundation can make it look as though you're either not wearing foundation or in my case, maybe wearing a little bit less foundation. <laughs> I mean, I got a lot on here, let's be honest. But it's really easy and fun to do and just a fun different look if it's something that you want to add. I just realized this title might scare the crap out of you, but I'm talking about fake lashes, guys. Many of us have to trim our fake lashes. So it can be really annoying because the nail scissors or the mini scissors or even these really expensive eyelash trimming scissors just do not work on the delicate eyelashes. As you can see, the lash is like trying to get away from the scissors and it's really hard to get a nice clean snap off. And quite often I even end up trimming, you know, a nice lash hair that I don't want to trim off. It'll just come off in a chunk. So something that I found that works incredibly well, as you can see here, are cuticle trimmers. These are the best when it comes to trimming your lashes. If you wear lashes often, it's definitely a good idea and nail clippers also work. I don't really know what else to call this, so I'm going to call it lip strobing. It's just where I strategically apply a lighter colored lip gloss over certain areas of my lips like the cupid's bow and then the lower part of my lips. I pat it in just so I maintain some of the original texture to the lip product, but it really helps to create a definition to the vermilion border like what I was describing before and also create a more plump look without it being super glossy and sticky. Phew, 15 tips guys, that was quite a lot for me to get through, but I still want to know more so leave your tips in the comment box and please also give me a follow on my other social media sites, I would love to see you there. Before I go, I've got one last little announcement. I've been working on something for the past couple of months. It's coming out soon and I really can't wait for you guys to see it. It's going to be hilarious. Um, I haven't actually seen the finished product yet but I should be seeing it extremely soon. Either way, I'll be giving you a sneak peek here on my channel on June 7th, so mark your calendars. Take a guess of what it is and who I'm working with in the comment box, and let's see who's right. Come June 7th, guys. Stay tuned.